Hi, I'm a Pogo community expert, Paul Boyd, and I'm here today to share a few tips with you about achieving balance as a supply teacher. Um, I think that's just the key word to keep in mind today, uh, balance, when we're having this discussion. Um, first thing is what I call function over form, and it applies to lots of different things. Um, going into a new school as a supply teacher, you often want to give your best impression, but sometimes that can lead you to make decisions that actually make your job more difficult. Um, a really simple example is uh, deciding that you want to look your best and um, so you wear your brand new shoes and your perfect three-piece suit, but then you get there and you're in a reception class and you're doing painting and all of a sudden you're wearing completely the wrong clothes to suit the needs of the job. So it's about making sure that you are thinking about what could be expected of you and that you are uh, properly equipped to do so. For example, I also know a lot of schools where they expect you to bring your own uh, supply of lessons, um, your own supply of equipment just in case. Um, and again, you don't want to be carrying around bags and bags of stuff, but just those few essential items uh, could make all the difference between how your day goes. Um, and I, also in terms of function over form, when you're in the classroom, as a new teacher in a school where you may only be for one day, you want to think about um, how much of this do I need to present in a very uh, standoffish, perhaps sort of cold, in uh, formal style, is that appropriate? Or do I need to warm things up a bit and be more friendly and approachable um, for the students? Because that will actually engender a more positive work environment, even if you're only there for that one day. So that leads me into my second point, which is balancing your relationships at the school that you are visiting. Um, it's really important to strike the right balance between being friendly and approachable uh, and endearing yourself to that community, whilst at the same time respecting the fact that you are a visitor in the building and you want to maintain a certain level of um, formal behaviour and professionalism and authority in front of the children. Um, you don't want to be the person who's asking thousands of questions that aren't particularly relevant to what you've been assigned to do um, just for the sake of seeming to want to do your job well. You've got to pick your moments, um, you've got to choose your questions, uh, but at the same time you've got to um, make sure that you're following through and you're doing things that are um, appropriate to the day. Um, when you're in the classroom with the children, remember they own the space. It's their school. They're the ones who are, from that perspective, are in charge. So you can be uh, enlisting them to tell you about the school, enlisting them to help you um, figure out where things maybe are. Um, but at the same time then, you've got to find that balance where you then can take charge of the space um, in terms of the lesson, and in terms of the content of the lesson, and in terms of what you're actually discussing which takes a lot of practice, even for the most experienced teacher. But finding that balance really, really does make a difference. So that leads me into the last point of this little video, which is finding the balance between over or under uh, offering help. Um, depending on the kind of person you are and depending on your experience, you might be someone who is so keen to make a good impression and so keen to do a good job that you say yes to everything that is asked of you when you go into that school. Particularly if you're there for a couple of days, um, you, know, you might say, oh yes, I'll stay and help out with that club. Yes, I'll stay and do that extra bit of work. Yes, I can do that for you. Um, be careful to know your boundaries and uh, know when to say yes and when to say no. Um, but also it can go the other way. Don't have the mindset of, well, I'm just here for the day, so I'm only doing, I'm only doing the, the very bare essentials and that's it. You know, it's important to sense that you're in the middle of a busy school day and that teachers need help and other members of staff might need something done for them or, or you know, you might need to help out a little bit more than you expected to. Um, so again, it's about finding that balance between what is uh, um, good for the school, good for the day, good for the team people you're working with, whilst respecting yourself and the amount that you are actually prepared to do in the time that you're there. So for more advice about how to find success as a supply teacher, have a browse through the videos below.